Welcome back, everybody. We are keeping on trend with the topic of World Health Day, which is today. And uh, we're now going to be speaking with a cancer survivor. Her name is Abigail Gittins. She's also a motivational speaker. Um, it is my pleasure to chat with Abigail. Right she now. also working here. Yes. <laughs> Don't make it yes. sound so. Be good with Abigail. <laughs> Abigail, you all right? Yeah, good. Morning, morning. <laughs> Thanks for, thanks for joining us on set this morning. You're welcome. <laughs> wow, look at this new set. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and well, Abigail reminded me that uh, I actually met her in 2018. That was when I just started mm. here on the you know, morning show. Um, yeah. so I, I didn't remember. Sorry, I apologize. Was that like when you were Carrie Robot? Okay. Was that exactly when I was <laughs> Carrie Robot? Hashtag Carrie Robot. <laughs> now, Abigail, you, um, at the age of 22, mm -hmm. you were diagnosed. Yes. With what? Well, it's called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. So it has two types, non-Hodgkin's and Hodgkin's. So I had non-Hodgkin's. What's the um, difference? I don't know. I know about mine. All right. So tell me about yours. Okay. So there's something called lymphocytes, which is practically white blood cells. And when you, my white blood cells, they were fighting a disease, whatever it was in my body, and they multiplied a lot. So they started to build on top of each other. The white blood cells. The white blood cells. Mm -hmm. And that caused lumps in my lymph lymphatic system okay so i would like to say that my white blood cells were so awesome that they just couldn't stop and that happened they were just so awesome they were so awesome they just had to keep growing they had to keep growing all right how did you feel and when you heard when you heard the news though the first time well my mom cried more than i did i didn't cry because i was like well i have this thing so i have to beat it mm -hmm. i am only 22 i have my whole life ahead of me so I was just like, buckle down, do what I had to do, eat it, get it and, over with. And were there any symptoms? Did you feel unwell at all? Was there anything that you experienced physically uh, to even hint at that there was something going yeah. on in your oh, body? You find out. It was yeah. there. Okay, so the mass was in my chest, by my heart, right on top of my lungs. So it was pressing down on my lungs. Okay. And I started to get shortness of breath and I couldn't even lie down on the bed. There was a point in time I had to sit up like this and sleep because there was such a pressure on my chest that uh, I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't walk. So I decided to go and get an x-ray and right. it showed up a mass in my chest 11 centimeters by 7 or 8. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's and then, yeah, and then you went, uh, so you, you did chemo? I did six rounds of chemotherapy and radiation as well. Okay. So, well, and did you suffer the, the, the symptoms of, of chemo? Because I know that there are side effects as well. Yeah. And the unwell feeling and, and I and got, such. well, I lost all my hair. Mm -hmm. I was really big before, well, they put me on steroids before, right. so I gained a lot of weight and I lost my hair after... I lost a lot of weight and I just put everything back on now. And what, what was it like going through that process? You know, like how did you feel seeing these changes in your body when you've had to have done chemo and stuff? What, what, did, what did it feel like at first? You know, as a young person and, you know, something as dramatic as losing your hair. How, how, how was that for you? I cried a lot when I lost my hair because I had such nice hair. <laughs> and I struggled to grow my hair to where it was. And I had such nice hair, so I cried a lot. People cried with me, my mom mostly. But I had a lot of support. And it was, it was sad, but I got through it. And, and you're here with us today to tell the story. Exactly. You know, so tell us about your support system around you and you know, what your relationship uh, was with them before what your relationship is, has been with them going through it. Mm -hmm. And now that you're past it, what, what's it like with them? So my support system, well, we, my family is very close. We have family worship every single day, either morning or evening. So we, right. we were close, but this brought us together because everybody was so worried about me. I was so young to go through this. My dad was a champion. My dad would go to the hospital with me in Mount because that's where I did my chemo. Right. I had to sit, we reached 7 o'clock, sometimes 4 o'clock in the evening. We now get in a bed because I, um, I have to get a private room. And he would sit with me, he would bring food for me every single day. They had to stop my chemo for two months because of Corona. And he would just pack me up just with no, food. Wait, this is recent? Yes. This was during COVID. Is during COVID all this happened? Yes. So this is in the last year? <laughs> what trouble is this? I'm you, like that, seven that months French, fresh. I used to come to work here every morning and leave after the morning show to go to St. James for radiation. Right. My first month. And so you no longer have to do radiation? I finished two weeks ago. 
That's, a, that's incredible. You know, I'm here working here all the time. I'm reading all. Listen, all of <laughs> Like every morning, she come in here and she's always coming and be like, "Good morning, saints of God." Yes. And as all, like always, so, yeah, so bright and so cherry. Yeah, so bright and cherry. You would never know that that you know. And this is the thing we always say is like, you never know what people are going through. Yeah. So treat people with kindness. Yeah. Treat yeah. them good. Treat them. Ah, oh boy. So Abigail, how important is it to you now to manage your health? It is very important because sometimes it's kind of scary. It might come back because I didn't, I didn't get to do an operation. Right. So to take out everything. To take out everything because of where it was, it was really risky for the doctors to go in. When they did the biopsy, they made me sign a waiver to say they could puncture my lungs. And I'm there like, hmm, that's nice. <laughs> and I cried the whole biopsy. And the doctor was like, and what is wrong with you? All right. What is wrong with me? So you just tell me you can puncture my lungs. What do you mean what's wrong with man? You're going in? <laughs> and it was like a really long needle. I hate needles. Yeah. But I got better taking them. Not the IV. But yeah. just the needles. Because the pain difference. There's yeah. only difference of pain after time. <laughs> I would imagine so. I really would imagine so. But you, you managed and you came out of it on top. You yeah, know, what, what is there is there a way of just be, before we sorry, sure. is there a That's way okay. to, to make sure that you don't you don't get it back? Like is there a, a particular foods you should be eating or a particular well, way you should be living exercise or some kind of thing? Exercise. I should be exercising and should be. That is important. But the foods <laughs> <laughs> eat broccoli, I drink a lot of lemon water, I eat, right. I eat a lot of pineapple because those foods strip cancer cells. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. So I started doing research. I drink a lot of green juices. Mm -hmm. I don't drink it so often because how I reach the work so early. I know. But I know the struggle. Yeah. <laughs> but every morning I start a cup. I start with a cup of bay leaf tea or sour sub tea. Sour sub tea is very good for cancer cells. Okay. So what do you mean good for it? Like you're good to kill it? It's good to kill it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm making sure. So, <laughs> so I drink every morning. I start my day with a cup of bush tea. Bush tea. Mm -hmm. You know, the grandparents had it, right? You know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Bush tea is the Yeah. And when you, when you got the news that you were cancer free, tell, tell us about that. When you, when I you, when was you got that. I was crying in the doctor's office. <laughs> I was like, I want to thank God. Thank God and thank everybody. Because I made my YouTube channel, I made my Facebook blog, and everybody was so supportive. Sometimes I would have to just leave my phone alone because I had so many messages when the day came and right. I thank everybody for messaging me but you know you just can't deal with the phone sometimes so I would check my message my phone once for the day and to some people and I, I would just rest it back down yeah. because it was so much so I thank everybody for really coming through. Did the doctors ever tell you what caused your white cells to start reacting that way? No they don't really they don't really know what okay. is sad non-Hodgkin's yeah they don't really know and tell us uh, more about your motivation of speaking. Uh, what, what, what is that like? Did you start it when you were going through your trial or is it something that you were doing beforehand or, or what? So I started it during my, well, my trial and because I was like, there are so many people going through cancer and they don't really talk about it. Right. And I've never heard of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma before. And okay. I was so like baffled to see the research that I did and what came up. So I say I will share my story and share my journey with others so they could learn. And from that, I started my foundation, the Abigail Gittins Foundation for women. Because now is my time to give, give back. Mm. Because people gave to me in my time of need, so I give them back. So I do a lot of drives. I sponsor young girls. I mostly focus on young women. Right. But I help women in general. That's such and if people, so wanted to, if people wanted to contribute to the foundation, how can they do so? So they can look up the Instagram page, Abigail Gittins Foundation. Mm -hmm. And you can message me on Instagram. There's also my email on the Instagram page. So they can message me if you have food stuff, clothes, I accept whatever it is. Okay. Hmm. Abigail, you're big out here, you know? <laughs> you would never know. You would, you would never know how, you know, how... Because um, you're quiet and, you know, you're... You you don't broadcast all that out there well, she, and, she and does walk around. On YouTube. Well, on YouTube, <laughs> on YouTube she I mean. legit broadcasts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, my mom no, but she does, so I mean, happy to hear what, that. What I what I would say though, Abigail, is that you don't let it get you down. You never did. It doesn't seem like that. Yeah. I um, never cried. People cry more. You than lie. I you just say you cry when they hear you was cancer free. Make up your well, mind. Well, oh gosh, when I say cancer free, I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but congratulations on on beating it. Yeah. And, you know, continue to keep up the fight. 
and yeah. continue to keep your personality the way it is because and continue to inspire others mm -hmm. you can have well. like a down spirit because if you have a down spirit that that in itself will affect you mm -hmm. yeah you have to just beat it and i have so much people come to me for advice what to eat what to do you know so that's just were you were you worried about it with the, with the pandemic going on plus having this cancer to deal with we, did you my feel parents did not let me leave that house not even to walk by the gate <laughs> so i was not worried okay. i was in my house i come out for sun they used to wake me up seven o'clock for sun because sun the seven o'clock sun is a form of good radiation yeah yeah, yeah. good yeah. radiation yeah well abigail you want to thank you so much for joining us on set this morning yes. to discuss yes. your surviving cancer <laughs> and your journey and and hopefully encourage some young people as well to be able to go through their journey so Thank you so much, Abigail. Keep up Thank the great you. work. We'll be back inside the next hour, ladies and gentlemen. We have news coming up at the top, and uh, we have more inside the next hour right oh, here yes, in the Now Morning Show. This is TTT and TTT Live Online. Stay tuned. We'll be back.